Hey everyone, Edgy Berserker here with Toshin Den 3. And we're going to arcade mode again. This time we're getting the uh, second in command of the organization, Schultz. And I might as well address the elephant out of the room right now. I am recording this the day after I had to put my cat of 13 years, Micho, down. Uh, she had. And it gr like, they, she did have the Khaleesi virus, like I said before, but then she also ended up just getting a really aggressive tumor in the mouth, so I had to put her down because uh, I was not going to put her through, like, basically radiation hell of no guarantee that she'd get better. And yeah, and she, I was there in the uh, room when they had to, uh, basically give her like the needle so to say god that sounds so insensitive <laughs> i honestly it's kind of a blur but the honest truth is i'm glad i stayed with her because uh man moxie till the end she was growling at those texts and it was wonderful <laughs> i'm glad to know that she no matter what well didn't change her personality till like the very end so uh, micho is gonna be missed she was a great little kitty girl um, I'm actually doing okay. Uh, I had my good cries out. I watched a playthrough of Rule of Rose, and funny enough, that actually helped out quite a friggin' bit. <laughs> and, uh, I have Mr. Bond, and he's a good little buddy, and I'm giving him a race. <laughs> and, honestly, I am recording right now because I know playing something I like, namely Toshin Den, would actually cheer me up a lot. Um, I played copious amounts of uh, Yoshi's Woolly World yesterday just to cheer up because it's happy and my god, that game really does help. <laughs> Puts you in a good mindset because it's like it's so cute and yarny and crafty and I love it. <laughs> right now we're playing this asshole Schultz. He sacrifices children and he has a handlebar mustache <laughs> and a scythe. Um, obviously this is supposed to up late because I'm recording this the day it's supposed to go up. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> my friend is actually gonna, my friend and her mom actually are gonna take me out to the uh, pub and just, you know, let me just get my mind off of shit. Uh, I got the day off of work as well, which was awesome. And, yeah, I'll be back to work tomorrow though. <laughs> but, you know what? Whatever. I'll, I'll just cope. <laughs> all you can do, man. All you can do. Unless Misha wouldn't want me like milling around and being all like, boo about it. <laughs> but yeah, um, I know I'm gonna miss uh, the random gifts in the middle of the night from her. Uh, basically, she found like either like this little pom pom toy or a little mousy toy. And in the middle of the night, all of a sudden, I hear. Oh, and then she's just carrying it in her mouth, being like, Hoy, human, buy a gift, pay attention. But then, like, you know, say I'm sleeping heavy and I don't hear it. Then I wake up with, like, a semicircle of, like, cat toys around the bed. <laughs> uh, I don't know if she was, like, trying to sacrifice it to me or something, but man, I'm gonna miss that. And also, she always slept by my head, and I'm gonna miss that a lot, too. But thankfully, Mr. Bond's a little cuddle kitty, so... He usually didn't cuddle with me unless uh, Micho wasn't nearby because uh, he <laughs> she would beat him up. <laughs> He's gonna have like a smack creep for like many years ahead of him. He's eight, but uh, you know, he's a super muscular, healthy cat, cross-eyed. He drools. Uh, he drooled since he was a kitten because like he has kind of like an overbite <laughs> and he purrs too heavy, and then he uh, drools more. <laughs> And he's cross-eyed, and he's a tuxedo kitty, and he's cute, and he's a good buddy. No one can deny his buddy factor. He's really good at it. Anyways, I just kicked the shit out of Kayan. Kayan! Kayan! Ugh. Man, Schultz is creepy. <laughs> Imagine him in, like, high res gra- Ah, uh, thinking the dream again, man. Thinking the dream. <laughs> Anyways, let's go kick the shit out of David. <laughs> let's see what whimsy this will bring. I wonder if this will be one of my quickest playthroughs. Salt seems a little pee. <laughs> ah, fuck. It is funny though, I am still playing this in the 60 frames, but 
it really comes down to the fact that it just runs. <laughs> I know a lot of people feel like, oh, it doesn't have that good of graphics in this mode. I don't care. As long as it's smooth to play, it's better. <laughs> oh, you can roll away from that. David! Why are you doing this to me, baby? Just because I want to sacrifice you and put a God of War in you. What the hell, man? Some people. God, that mustache. Imagine that mustache in HD. Holy shit. <laughs> Actually, uh, thinking about that, though. Because <laughs> I saw those, uh, compare screens for, um, the HD version of, like, uh, Arkham City or whatever. <laughs> those looked really poor. <laughs> It's like, that is not the HD. You gotta have your versions mixed up. There's no way that's HD, but no, it looked like shit. <laughs> that's upsetting, actually. <laughs> that's like, uh, that kind of shows the flaw of some HD remakes. Because, uh, really, it's almost like, okay, we made a lot of money off this game, quick. Even though it wasn't released on the PS3 and <laughs> but one that I actually think I really deserved HD remake is Odin Sphere, which I'm glad it did. Cause uh, man, that game is fucking gorgeous. It like just even in PS2, it was like late PS2 game as well. Um, and like just even on the PS2 era, running a, like on a crappy old TV, like CRT TV. Sorry, I shouldn't call it crappy. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and like a PS2 with AV cables, not even component. And, like, looking at it, you're like, man, this game is gorgeous. But then, you know, you chalk up, like, HD-ness to that and making it more crisp. It's like, Jesus, that, like, oh, I actually got it for the, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> ah, dry throat. Um, <coughs> oh, God, I gotta hit pause. I'll be back. <coughs> Okay, I'm back. I'm not choking. Yay! Thank goodness for a giant bottle of water by my head. Well, not by my head, but you know what I mean. Anyways, what was I saying? HD. Um, I got it for the uh, Odin Sphere for the PlayStation Vita. Um, only because, you know, I'm handheld. And it's actually easier for me to play, like, long games on the handhelds than it is on the systems. Unless I'm doing a Let's Play of it. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> Ah, come on. That, you know, I I know I said it before, but man, I would love a uh, Haunting Ground remake or a fucking Rule of Rose one, but I don't think Rule of Rose would ever happen, only because it was... <coughs> God damn it! Um, only because uh, that one had controversy around it. Ah, I gotta drink more water. <coughs> don't you hate random coughs, man? Like, bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Oh. <coughs> oh, Jesus! I don't know what that's about. <laughs> I might actually have to hit pause and give myself a minute because I'm gonna choke again. <coughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> this recording's going swimmingly! <laughs> okay, I'm back. I think I'm done uh, choking. Anyways, rule bros. Um. I would love to have that one HD remake, but from what I remember, a <coughs> kind of reason why it's such a rare game is that an Italian newspaper, like a game review, said like a whole bunch of stuff that was in the game that wasn't in the game, you know? They are just saying that, oh, it promotes uh, child abuse and blah blah blah, and all that stuff. Sorry, I'm still trying to recover. Choking here. <laughs> and, like, and it was just an irresponsible uh, game review, basically. So uh, then that caused controversy, and naturally then it started getting banned and shit from like other places. And then uh, it just kind of 
fell went into obscurity because uh yeah, just because of that shit. Um, <clears throat> I think it was also a late PlayStation. Uh, yeah, it was a late PS2 game. I just remember picking it up for nine bucks. <laughs> But uh, for me, the game was just perfect in atmosphere in that. I I know everyone shits on the combat, but I also like to remind people that Jennifer is a uh, teenage girl in the 1930s. So, I mean, you don't really expect her to be like Jill Valentine or anything, you know, because she's not trained in combat. Of course she's going to try to use a dessert port to fuck you up because that's the only thing she has. <laughs> But yeah, believe me, that game will get played though, because <laughs> uh, I fucking love it. I fucking love it. Oh no, I wasted it. Oh, I did a spinny thing in the air. Oh, I'll choose this butthole. Oh, that's the one. <laughs> hey, no coughing fit. Ents, ents, ents. Oh, I almost triggered another one. <laughs> nice mustache, bro. <laughs> oh, and if you hear the uh, dulcet sound of the fan in the background, that's because it's hot in here, and I have it on low, so it's not like you're gonna hear it too badly, I guess. <laughs> you're gonna hear it pretty badly, I think. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm gonna see how long I can say I'm in mourning for any excuse I have for, uh, um, when I do something stupid. <laughs> Yeah, it's not gonna last long. I'm not the type of person that looks sympathy out of people either. It's not my thing, man. I I'm not actually a, quite a private mourner, to be honest with you. Like, I probably will not openly weep on here. Um, I would probably just hit pause, do it, and then compose myself, and then come back. But, uh, the two times, though, was actually a coughing fit, because my fucking god, that was a pain in the butt. <laughs> But like I said, I got my good cry out. I'll be alright, man. Just gotta keep moving forward. That's all you can do. That's friggin' life. <laughs> Kinda like you just get born, then you die, and then there's a whole bunch of stuff in between. <laughs> that's really it. But that's cool. <laughs> I mean, obviously, it's something worth being around for and shit. Oh, I'm getting deep. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> No deepness. Not allowed. Not today. I'm fighting a monkey. <laughs> Can't get deep when there's a monkey on the screen. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Ready. Huh. Fight. Ugh, monkey. I also got excited, though, when I found out that... Oh, sorry. I was about to sneeze. <laughs> I also got excited when I found out that Nintendo actually- Oh, excuse me. God damn! <laughs> when Nintendo, uh, released uh, Rhythm Heaven for the 3DS digital only, though, which is kind of bullshit, but... You know, I'll take it when I can get it. But I don't understand why, in Canadian, it's 42 bucks. It's like, you know, get the cartridge for that much. <sighs> Fuck! <laughs> that said though, um, there's a lot of Vita games I want, but I I want to track down the actual, like, physical games because I don't have the memory cards for it to add more games on it. <laughs> That's a problem, and since the Vita's basically at the end of its life because Sony gave up on it, it's like, okay, the only place I could find memory cards is eBay or... Play Asia. Fuck. <laughs> and I think that's where I get the only place I can get the physical copy of these games as well, because EB most certainly does not have it. They don't stock Vita games anymore. The one has like Zilch, and the other one only has like. Well, I bought the Odin Spear one. <laughs> and there's like Persona 4 Dancing All Night and uh, some other game. Because, uh, yeah, I think I also brought the uh, Super Beat Zonic as well <laughs> that they had. <laughs> Which, by the way, I actually enjoy that rhythm game. It definitely was not meant for PlayStation 2, though, let me tell you. Because <laughs> uh, using the controller on that game is almost impossible. <laughs> and what I mean by that is, like, you got your... It's like Persona Dancing All Night, where you have, like, a triangle, circle, X, and then up, left, and down as your notes for the sides. But then there's like a swipe up or swipe down for the yellow, which you can also use the analog sticks for. 
But if you're in the middle of a thing and then you have to use the analog sticks, and that gets confusing. Then there's a mode that also adds the RL buttons, and that just... Oh, what the fuck, man? <laughs> just what the fuck? <laughs> That's why it's better with the touch screen. <laughs> I mean, I, I think I really like the Vita, especially for, uh, well, not only because I could get my PSP games to play on the TV, <laughs> but, uh, well, because, like, you know, tap, rhythm tapping games, <laughs> that's really it. I fucking love rhythm tapping, tap, tapping, tapping games, and, uh, yeah, those would be, those are fun. I wanna play more. <laughs> I also found out that Senran Kagura has a rhythm tapping section. <laughs> it has an offshoot rhythm tapping game as well, which is one of the ones I want to get. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> There's just a few other ones too. I think they have even like a Neptunia one that's a rhythm tapping game. I'm like, ah, oh, I want rhythm tapping games. Give me more. <laughs> that's why I'm disappointed that the 3DS doesn't have more of them, because my god. Oh, another elite beat agent would be awesome. But I, uh, yeah, no. Uh, the only thing is, though, uh, even though they localized it, you know, I actually do prefer the Japanese versions better. <laughs> I don't know why. Actually, I do know why, but you know. Oh well. <laughs> hey, I'm fighting chaos. He's like the uh, anti-hero thing in this, or something. He, f he vomits. And, and his voice actor voices Vermillion too. Who also voiced the original Zoys site in the uh, fucking hell. I'll be back. Interruptions! My god! Like now I'm getting phone calls up the wazoo too. It's like, oh god. <laughs> let me play those gym I already had a coffee fit, man. <laughs> But I'll eventually get through this playthrough. And man, it's not even like, you know, like sadness pauses. It's just like uh, I'm getting like interrupted by random shit. <laughs> Anyways, I hit chaos with a giant spinning diamond. What are you gonna do? Oh. <laughs> uh, this playthrough went longer than it should have only because of my interruptions. God fucking damn. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Everything is fine. Edgy Berserker will be fine. I don't... Hmm. I just realized, though. Next is L Nuzlocke Challenge. Would I have it in me to play a Nuzlocke game which ri risks me having to kill off a Pokemon? Yeah. I don't know. Um, uh, yeah, probably, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so mean. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. My reaction's awful. You know why, though, guys. You know why. But hey, if, uh, if more motivation to have them survive, right? There you go. Oh! Oh! <laughs> shit show, Shinjo. No! Oh, it was I who ate shit. <laughs> uh, no, that totally missed. Motherfucker. Oh, you're OP. That's it, you're just... No! No! There we go. I just remembered he had an uppercut. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna find out what motivates Schultz in the end. What makes this man with the handlebar mustache tick? Hmm. Let us find out in the magical world of Toshinden 3. Hopefully I don't get a coughing fit during this or a fucking phone call. God fucking damn it. <laughs> Schultz, master of the ceremony, feels content at last. He has all the blood that he needs for the dark ceremony. Mm. As he prepares for the ceremony, he suddenly begins to tremble. Not from fear or despair, but from the excitement of the coming ritual. I think he had a coming ritual in his pants. Ah! Oh. Schultz smiles gleefully at his con. Eh, I'm sorry. Schultz smiles gleefully as he contemplates the wonderful and terrible event to soon occur. The fact that he had a boner in front of the crowd, I guess. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's another thing. Oh, no, another coughing fit. <clears throat> I cope with grief with humor. In really bad humor, so. 
Yeah, that was an example of some of the shit I'm gonna say <laughs> in the next few days, so. Hey! Schultz win wins. Oh, Schultz wins. Yeah. Uh... No, I wish there was at least, like, more characters for the entering of the name. But, uh, I'm a Kadio, right? Uh. Um. It's gonna be Star. Mustache. For epic mustache. Yeah. Edgy wins. <laughs> oh, Schultz. No, you're boner. Please. Pide your shame, man. Aww. Uh, anyways. This is Edgy Berserker signing off on this very interrupted edition of Toshin Nen 3. <laughs> so until the next episode, I'll see y'all later. Bye now.